this is Dr. David Dena from Progressive Orthotonic Seminars and Progressive Dental Supply. I want to take a few minutes to introduce you to a new product that we're going to have at Progressive Dental Supplies. This is a set of second order vent pliers. Second order vents are typically those vents that we try to avoid. And the most common way to avoid these vents is by repositioning brackets. But what happens after you reposition the bracket and you still have a root angulation problem? And trying to reposition the bracket at that point might actually create a root angulation problem towards the other side. So at that point, we're forced to make a second order pain. Let me demonstrate how these pliers work. First, let's look at what we do today. I have this wire that I already pre-marked. And if we want to do a second order bend, basically we mark the, the wire, we take it out of the mount, we take our light wire plier, and we start making the bends around the wire. Place my plier on the mark. Now I've got to make sure that the wire is not twisted or rolling, so I can make my bend in the same plane, and then I start making my bends. Make sure that my bend is correct, that I'm not at a different plane. Then I gotta bring the plier towards the other mark. Make sure that my wire is in the right plane and then finish with my bend. And here we have that second order bend. How simple will it be to make the same bend with the finishing pliers I have designed? This will give me, if it was a lower a lower arch on the right, it will give me a mesial root tip with the mesial marginal ridge going up and the distal marginal ridge staying at the same level. Grabbing the wire, putting the plier on top of the wire and just give it a full squeeze. And as you can see, put the bend with the finishing plier it took about three seconds. Right here, we can see the bend that I made with the light wire plier. You can see the step up for the mesial marginal ridge. You can see the angulation, it's about five degrees, and then we come to a flat. And here you can see the bend made with the finishing plier. The same step, it's about a millimeter step with the five degree angle. This is actually a true five degree angle, and then we come into a flat. The bends are identical. Actually, they look almost identical. But the bend made with a new finishing plier is actually much more precise. I have a dipod on, and I want to show you how we use these pliers intraorally. What I recommend is for you to untie a couple of brackets in front and behind the tooth that you're planning to bend, then push the wire away from the tooth a little bit so you don't damage your bracket bonding. Then just place your plier right in front of the bracket or the tooth that you're planning to make the bend and just go ahead and give the plier a full squeeze. And then you can see right here the step, then the angulation, this will move the root distal, the marginal ridge of the mesial will move it up, and this will leave the marginal ridge on the distal even. And that is as simple as a procedure as you can imagine when you're doing a second order bend. I designed the pliers to be used on 018 stainless steel wire, which is the most common finishing wire. But I also understood that many times we do make finishing bends or second order bends on heavier wires such as O2O steel, 18 by 25 heat activated night eye, and even 19 by 25. I made sure that these pliers could be used to bend any of these wires. Here I have a piece of 18 by 25 heat activated arch wire and on this wire I can make any bend I want. I can make 
a second order pen, and I can use any of my pliers. This plier I'm gonna show you right now, it's what we call the Z bend plier, where both marginal ridges move, and I just place the arch wire, give the plier a full squeeze, and here you have that Z bend. I have a 19 by 25 arch wire, and again, I can use these pliers, even on 19 by 25, you just place it over in front of the bracket. If this was intraorally, make sure that the wire is not tied to the bracket. Make sure that a couple of brackets be behind and in front of the tube to be bent are loosened up. Then you would place your plier in front of the wire and just give the plier a full squeeze. And here you have your second order bend on your 19 by 25 arch wire. When we are looking at the second order bends, we have to look at either it's a root tip or a count tip. Here in POS, we talk about root tip when we're talking about second order bends. But we have to keep in mind that when the root is tip to either distal or mesial, the count will be tipped on the opposite direction. So we have to ask ourselves, do I move the mesial up or do I move the distal down or should I keep them the same as they are? And this is what creates the complexity of second order bends. So we have now a four plier set. The two top pliers are the ones that I took upon myself to design in order to really have the complete set and be able to make every different combination of second order bend pliers. Each plier makes four different bends on each arch, two on the right and two on the left. And let's just take a look at what a good finishing is. We need to see all the marginal ridges consistent with each other and all the roots parallel. We have several different uh, second or bend situations. And I'm going to go to different examples using the lower second by cuspid and try to explain the need for all these four pliers. So when I'm looking at this tooth, I see that the, the root is tip mesial. The mesial marginal ridge is actually even with the distal marginal ridge of the first by cuspid, but it's down in relation to the second molar. So in this case, we would need to do a distal root tip bend with the distal up, maintaining the position of the mesial marginal ridge. This plier will do it intraorally. And this is the effect of that bend on the tooth. Another situation, we have the same mesial root tip issue on the same tooth, but the situation now it's different. We have the mesial marginal ridge much higher than the distal marginal ridge of the first bicuspid, and on the other side, the distal marginal ridge is level with the mesial marginal ridge of the first molar. So for this correction, we need a mesial down with a distal root tip. And this plier will create that bend. And the result will be this, where your marginal ridges will be leveled and your roots will be parallel. We are talking about one tooth and we can have six different combination bends that need to be created. Now we have a set of four pliers that will enable us to create any of the combinations of any second order bend, keep them within the same plane and make it easy and simplify the work and also save us a tremendous amount of chair time. I am sure you will find this set of pliers extremely useful, very, very helpful, and a major time saver. Thank you so much.